okay white screen guys you can see i hope right hmm? yes guys yes sir yes. okay then uh, banking of roads chalo theek hai now for this some real basics what you should be knowing is one is if a body is going in a circular motion if this body is going in a circular motion with the radius of the circle being r and the velocity is v at a certain instance then it means that there is a net force on the body which is towards the center and the value of that force is it is called centripetal force and the value of the force is what very fortunately just by knowing the velocity we know the value of the force mv square by r there is a certain derivation which gives you that is that clear guys yes sir okay another thing what you should know is this force need not be provided by just one component like this body was having suppose a string attached over here is pulling with t tension then there is somebody who is uh, pushing this guy out here by f force or f1 force some f2 force is over here some f3 force is over there what is this centripetal force centripetal force is not this t alone are you understanding so people this just think that the one which is towards the center is the centripetal force it is all the forces who has got a component in the line of the radius is that clear that means this mv square by r this centripetal force will be equal to one is t for sure then it will be say this is theta 3 angle then it will be f3 cos theta 3 because that has cos theta 3 is towards the center right then it will be f1 cos theta 1 away from the center then it will be minus f2 cos theta 2 away from the center all these force together is equal to the centripetal force is that clear guys is yes yes so you will not say okay this was towards the center and hence it is centripetal force no all the components of the force which can be acting towards or away from the center in this line is the centripetal force is that concept clear guys okay because we say the basic derivation is net force in a certain direction this time towards the center is equal to mass into acceleration this acceleration acceleration centripetal acceleration this acceleration we calculated somehow by studying the velocity and change in velocity by studying this change in velocity we studied that the change in velocity was towards the center and the value came as m uh, sorry v square by r derivation was quite simple i don't want to repeat it over here so get in the point that is a centripetal force so you should be knowing that is that clear then what is centrifugal force there is no force which is a no actual force is a centrifugal force if a body is going with v velocity at a certain instance and is going to turn it is going in a circular then the force is toward the center and there is only a centripetal force okay if you are in the frame of reference of the body then you feel like if this body was a person he feels that he is getting thrown out with a pseudo force pseudo means non real imaginary force and that is your centrifugal force is that clear which is equal and opposite to the centripetal force is that clear in value the centrifugal force will be again mv square by r is that clear this is again another concept which again people struggle to understand from the base that what it means i'll repeat if this body m body was going with a acceleration this side 
then if we sit on the body then we imagine that there is a pseudo force of there is a pseudo force of a pseudo force of ma backwards is that clear guys is that clear if we see the body in the frame of reference which is accelerating by a then we feel that there was a a force backwards is that clear is that clear like there's a bus there's a man in the bus bus accelerates with a forward then in the ray frame of reference of the bus something which is accelerating with a when we look at the man we feel that the man has got a backward force of mass of the man and acceleration of the bus obviously has got no such force but that is a feeling force so similarly this guy is having an actual force towards the center but in the frame of reference of this body he has got a force outwards which is centrifugal force so centripetal force is the actual force centrifugal force is the pseudo force is that clear guys yes sir actually i got disconnected between so could you repeat everything whatever you said in the slide what could you repeat everything whatever you said in the next slide what you wrote no please what is the recording no this this slide you were there yeah i was there this is i'm just saying that centripetal force is the real force which is acting towards the center hence a body which was moving tangentially like this will get turned okay because there is a force towards the center is that clear is that yes clear? sir and yes, if the force is 90 degree to the velocity then how much change will it bring to the velocity nothing okay so the speed remains same i mean how much change will it bring to the speed the speed will not change because the force was neither along the velocity nor opposing the velocity but it has got a capability of turning the direction is that clear is that clear yes sir so that force yes. has been calculated to be m and it is directly related fortunately to the velocity mv square by r now that is a centripetal force now what is centrifugal force centrifugal force is a imaginary force it's a pseudo force any body which has got a acceleration this way if we see the body in a frame which is actually accelerating like if you sit on the body or be beside the body which is also going forward with the acceleration then we feel that this body is having an imaginary force on it which is ma backwards okay and there is no such force it is an imaginary force like this bus this guy in a bus if the bus accelerates forward we imagine that it is having a backward force is that clear that is yes sir thank you so much MA. okay that is what i was saying the centrifugal fugal force the imaginary force both the forces centripetal and centrifugal are used a lot okay because in rotating frame we generally feel the whole situation by sitting in the frame so we may use centrifugal force okay hmm? is that clear yes sir thank you now comes banking of the road okay so suppose One second, Amit sir is calling. One second. हाँ सर क्लास चल रहा है बताइए ठीक है ओके सर Thank you. 
So suppose it is a circular track. Okay. Hmm? Radius of the track is R. There is a car or something which is going along the track. Okay, so the tangential velocity is V. So what is going to happen? This car to go in the track will require a force inside. Okay, otherwise it will go straight. How much of the force will be required? F is equal to mv square by r. Is that clear? Yes. Now, who will provide this force? So, let me just make the track seen from behind. So, yeah, suppose this is the road. Okay, this part of the road, this is the road. And that body is the car. This is the car seeing from behind. Okay, very simple. I am making it. These are the tires. And the car is going inside the frame what I have drawn. And the center is over here. We require a centrifugal force, which is in this direction. We require that force, F, this F. So who will provide that force? Who is going to provide that force? So centripetal, right? Yeah, who will provide the centripetal force? Friction. Something has to provide it. Is not a friction. It's not a yeah. So the car engine and all that is internal. Okay, the only thing on this body, the free body of this car, the only thing is it has got a contact from the ground. So friction on the tire can provide a centrifugal force. Okay, hmm? so the friction is not there. Obviously, the car will seem to skid out because it will go straight in the line if the friction is not there. Is that clear? Hmm? Now, if you have to go to at very if you have to go at very high velocity, then F, which is the centripetal force, which is mv square by r. So higher the velocity, higher should be the friction, and friction cannot be that much, right? Friction has got an upper limit, right? Which is equal to mu into normal reaction, right? Is that clear? So, and suppose it is a rainy day and all, we cannot depend on the friction. So, what we need to do is, we need to do a construction in such a way that something else is also providing the centripetal force. Okay. So, what do we do? A smart thing to do is, not relying on the friction alone, if we can make the road tilted a bit, is that clear? Instead of flat. Hmm? Then what is going to happen? then the car wheels are suppose like this and this is the plane okay it is still like that the road itself is bent like that so this is the center of the whole track like this was the center this is the center of the whole track is that clear now somebody has to provide again that centripetal force so now what all you can think can provide the centripetal force? So friction and gravity. Yeah, see, technically speaking, gravity is acting like this, mg. So it cannot have a component towards the F. Friction will be now acting, say, this way. Then yes, friction can have a component towards the F. Earlier, full friction was towards the F, so it was better for me. Now, only part friction is towards the centripetal force, but then there is something else which has come in big time. What is that? Gravity was earlier also there, down. Yes, sir. Yes, it was the anti degree to that, it was not providing any centripetal force. But now, what else is there? So gravity is contributing to the huh? So gravity is also contributing to the F force involved. No, no, gravity is 90 degree. One no, 90 degree force cannot contribute in 90 degree direction at all. So uh, like uh, n sine theta. 
so the normal reaction which is on the tires or we can just make one just to represent it the normal reaction will be in what direction now normal direction is this way right hmm? earlier it was vertically up mg was down n was up nothing in the direction of the centripetal force now normal reaction is having a component toward a centripetal force or not now whatever this theta is it is having a component or not right right yes sir. is that clear guys so we are using the weight of the body itself so in a way you are making the use of the weight okay hmm? so not directly the mg but the normal reaction of mg is now having a contribution right and we have a centripetal force a centripetal force so centripetal force is not only by friction but also by normal reaction is that clear is that clear okay okay now to solve it to solve it this is the reason why we bank the roads so that we are just not depending on the friction and there is something else okay so there will be an ideal speed at ideal speed your dependency on friction is zero that means what should happen the normal reaction should be good enough to get the point sir normal reaction should be good enough to provide the centripetal force is that clear so what is the equation now can anybody tell me i just make the drawing i'll not make a car with tires and all i'll just make a box okay so this is the car it is going inside okay the velocity is inside is that clear so there is a centripetal force which is required towards it okay towards the center okay hmm? i'm not going to make the centripetal force because it is not a separate force it is a net addition of the existing force so i can't make it okay are you getting the point it is a net ma kind of thing like this is the body if i say f1 was so much and f2 was so much in such directions and some thetas are given to you this angle alpha this angle beta is given to you what is the equation your equation is f1 cos alpha plus f2 cos beta is equal to the net mass into acceleration right 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 yes is ma a force no these two were the forces ma is not a force so that kind of thing is your that kind of thing is your centripetal fc is equal to mv square by r so mv square by r itself is not a force there are other things which is equal to mv square by r so i should never draw that mv square by r force over here okay hmm? so what are the forces the forces are there is a normal reaction n there is mg angle of inclination was theta and i am saying that friction is zero if it is ideal speed so let the friction be zero okay so what is the net force towards the center what is the net sin theta hmm and sin theta yeah if i draw like this and this so obviously this angle is theta which is like alternate angle so it is n cos of 90 minus theta which is nothing but n sorry one second i'm sorry i'm sorry one second i'll draw like this yeah so how much is this angle this angle is theta right right so this angle is 90 minus theta so n cos of 90 minus theta is n sin theta so in this direction you have got n sin theta is that clear is that clear so that's the force towards the center and hence we call it as centripetal force there is no other force towards the center 
Hence the equation is n sin theta is equal to m v square by r. End of story. First case, ideal speed. Is that clear, guys? Is that clear? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. Now another way of looking at the same thing is that if I look at the frame of reference of the body, then the body is neither going left nor going right. Okay. Hmm? Then we say if you are in the frame of reference of the body, then we put a new fancy force. Okay. What is that? Centrifugal force. And we say that centrifugal force is mv square by r in the frame reference. Now we say that the body is neither going left or right, okay, in the frame of the reference of the body, like the man in the bus. In his in his frame, he doesn't feel that he is going back, okay. So, uh, or uh, yeah, so this body in the frame of reference of this body, the total force left side and right side is balanced. So we say n sine theta is equal to mv square by r. We get the same thing again. Are you understanding? But the reasoning is different. What is the first reasoning? The first reasoning was there. I don't think of any centrifugal force and all. I will see net force on the body and all the components of the net force on the body towards the center is called centripetal force. So N had got a component towards the center. Mg did not get a component, had, did not have any component towards the center. And hence I am writing N sin theta as the centripetal force was the first reasoning. Okay. Second reasoning is being in the frame of reference of the body, I see a centrifugal force on it, a pseudo force on it, and I see that the body is not going anywhere because in the frame of reference of itself, we don't feel it is going anywhere. So it is neither going left nor going right, and we say that n sine theta must be equal to the centrifugal force mv square by r to balance it out. Is that clear? Any which way which goes to your head properly, which goes into your head properly is, okay, you'll get the equation same. So case one, this is the equation. Okay, ideal speed. Is that clear, guys? Is that clear, guys? Yes, sir. Okay. Now, what was N? Like, what is sir? N at all? Let us do that. So in, uh, in circular motion, considering the frame of reference and doing the question is the best and easiest, okay? Hmm? Is that clear, guys? So from henceforth, I will be using the centrifugal force, okay? Otherwise, I would avoid using centrifugal force. I would avoid, avoid using pseudo forces, but in circular motion, it is quite useful to use centrifugal force, okay? So n sin theta is equal to mv square. So ideal ideal velocity v should be n sin theta. But what is n? Okay. So how to get that n? So what do you think? How to get that n, guys? N cos theta is equal to mg. Yeah. N cos theta is equal to mg. Right, people? That is what you are getting over here. Right? Hmm? Yes, sir. Okay. So you can break n into two parts and you can do that way. Is that clear? Is that clear? Hmm? Now many times people solve in this line, in this line. So in this line we can write n is equal to, what is the component of mg over there? mg cos theta. Okay mg in this line is how much mg cos theta or not right remember 90 degrees yes yes and this must be 90 minus theta so mv square by r cos of 90 minus theta means mv square by r sin theta so mv square by r sin theta okay so we can insert this also over here and get a big, big fat equation. Okay. So what do we get? 
mg cos theta sin theta plus mv square by r sin square theta is equal to m v square by r okay right you don't have to copy it okay you have written this this much is enough okay hmm? this much is enough this is equation number one this is equation number two suppose okay <laughs> now to get the v to get the v what do we get mg sin theta cos theta is equal to if we take it on the other Sir, side why sin square theta n into sin theta no okay got it sir and then it's so much no you did not ask why mg cos theta sin theta that is the extra sin theta no hmm? mg cos theta sin theta and mv square by r sin theta into sin theta okay that's your n value n i am replacing the n over here okay sir so what do we get mg sin theta cos theta and if we take mv square by r on the other side what do we get 1 minus sin square theta which is nothing but cos square theta right is that clear yes and we can cancel one cos theta on both sides and what do we get mg sin theta is equal to mv square by r cos theta right right don't yes. cost at all okay i'm just showing it because can you see in the diagram that mg sin theta would have been this way mg sin theta mg sin theta right is that clear is that clear yes guys mg sin theta is that way and what is the force along this line mv square by r cos theta or not mv square by r cos theta or not you don't have to do so much of maths you see the diagram and you can write the equation yourself okay get the point so this serves as the ideal speed is that clear derived from one and two or just from the diagram is that clear guys is that clear yes sir somebody else had said that n cos theta n cos theta is equal to mg right yes sir yeah so n is equal to mg by cos theta n is equal to mg by cos theta right if you replace that also over here what do you get mg sin theta divided by cos theta is equal to mg square by r you'll get cos theta will go on the other side so you'll still get the same equation right yes sir so getting uh, i mean meaning to say you do whatever whatever way you do it you are going to say get the same thing it is just that you make the diagram correct so i'm just again going to make the diagram this is the tilt this is your theta this is your body it has got a normal reaction n it has got a downward force mg and it has got a centrifugal force mv square by r we'll just take centrifugal force outside mind you you should never draw a centripetal force i'll repeat again there's no centripetal force separate centripetal force is a result of all these forces all together okay hmm? and hence if the concept is not very clear you rather draw centrifugal force outside okay and check in the frame of reference of the body so these are the three forces now like ncrt book i think they have balanced it along vertical and horizontal okay with the vertical the the normal always makes theta 90 degree okay so equations simple equations which comes out from here is two set of equation comes out from here if we break it in that way what are the two sets what are the two sets n cos theta is equal to mg, mg. and, and n is equal to mg. sin theta is equal to mv square by r what can be easier than this just divide the two off and you will get sin theta by cos theta is equal to 
mm gets cancelled v square by r by g and all and you get the same thing what we are talking about so simple two equations one and two is that clear however a lot of people want to break the forces along this line and 90 degree line so nothing wrong in that okay hmm? so in these two lines mg is broken and mg is mg cos theta and mg sin theta right right so i'll just make it over here instead of mg i make mg sin theta and mg cos theta is normal reaction n equal to mg cos theta not at all why because there was a centripetal uh, sorry centrifugal force outside which along this will be how much m v square by r cos theta and along this will be how much m v square by r sin theta is that clear so now what are the set of equations now the set of equations would be mg sin theta is equal to mv square by r cos theta and in the vertical direction n is equal to mg cos theta plus mv square by r sin theta so these are the two sets one and two you can solve the two or you can cross relate and solve all four you can use because equations are equations they are not wrong at all so all four are correct is that clear you can use any two yes. to solve it. is that clear guys is that clear so it's not a bad bad deal in uh, i mean uh, doing this way vertical and horizontal even though most of the inclined plane questions you do along the incline and 90 degree to the incline gives you easier equation but in this particular case this one is giving easier equation now suppose you are not at ideal speed and you are more than the ideal speed so what do you think which way will the friction act okay i'll just make the body again while you think and then you tell me your name and then you answer this is your this is your car we are going inside the frame with the velocity which is more than the ideal speed okay ideal speed we calculated in the last frame if you have not copied you should have copied or you just uh, derive it yourself okay so anyways more than or less than ideal speed the things are we have a centrifugal force this side mv square by r we have a normal reaction this side n and we have a weight this way which is mg now since it is not ideal that means friction is not equal to zero okay your tires have to do something okay so the good thing about banking of road is without friction also if you drive at that ideal speed which comes out to be suppose 40 meter per, uh, sorry 40 kilometers per hour then you drive at 40 kilometers per hour if the road is all watery and skiddy also it is your uh, your uh, car will still maintain the circular motion okay hmm? so if you have more than that speed what is going to happen to the car will it be thrown outside or uh, it will go down the slope what do you if think it's will happen more than the speed then it will be thrown outside yeah so this time this is more right v mv square by r v is more so this is more right it has got a tendency of slipping up the incline right 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 guys yes so new force is going to kick in which is friction which is toward the inside friction is that clear now your wish again in which directions you want to write that uh, forces your wish one is along the incline and 90 degree and one is vertical and horizontal now we have got a friction which is along the incline and all so you may be inclined to write like two forces f and n is along the incline and 90 degree to the incline make it easier and two forces are vertical and horizontal so it is equally difficult writing both is equally easy or equally difficult so what do you choose this way or this way your choice speak up your I name okay so tell the two equations guys i mean the person who said it horizontal and vertical sir f cos theta plus so one second i'll just 
make for ease of understanding this angle was theta so this angle must be theta okay and normal with the vertical also makes the same angle you can do the small geometry this angle is theta and you this guy is wanting to make it in the these two directions so yeah tell me the equation tell me f cos theta plus n sin theta is equal to mv square by r absolutely right so f in the horizontal direction is f cos theta and n in the horizontal direction has a component which is n sin theta is equal to m v square by r that's the only horizontal component towards the house absolutely right okay in other ways you can say that a centripetal force was provided by the friction as well as the normal reaction and the centripetal force was f cos theta and n sin theta towards the inside that will also explain the same equation equation number one done okay how many variables mu they will give so f is not known m is not known and we have to calculate so pretty much many variables three variables so tell me one more equation at least yeah vertical n direction is equal to mg what n cos theta is equal to mg are you sure oh sorry sorry m uh, sorry n cos theta plus f sin theta absolutely right okay n cos theta is up is equal to mg is down and plus f sin theta f sin theta is down right is that clear okay almost end of story but then f has got a relation with n that also you have to write because otherwise it is three variables two equations what is the f and n relation that's a pretty simple one what is that what is that mu n yeah f is equal to mu n mind you guys f is if it is just on the brink of slipping then f is equal to mu n okay if it is just on the brink of slipping okay that means if they ask you what is the maximum velocity it can go then it will be the maximum friction what it can provide that time only f max f max is equal to mu n otherwise it is not okay otherwise f can have any value between 0 and mu n is that clear is that clear so to get the extreme force we use the extreme friction and the extreme friction is mu n and another thing i have seen people in the habit of writing f as mu mg that is bull crap okay only for situation where n happens to be mg i have seen people writing f is equal to mu mg cos theta again a big bull crap that is again only for those happy go lucky equations where n happens to be mg cos theta so in most of the worthwhile questions it is not mg cos theta okay so you have to be careful what you write f as only formula for ff is mu n like in this very case can you tell me how much is n even though not required for the equation but how much is n n is mg cos theta plus mv square by r sin theta right it has got uh, two components right which is the uh, two components mg component and mv square by r component which is creating the n in other words if you are driving the car very fast are you not pressing the ground down if the ground is inclined right in circus and all if they are going round and round in the what is it called circle of death or something like that right? what is that death well. huh death well death well yeah yeah the well right so there the faster the bike is going is pressing the pressing the wall and that pressing on the wall creates more of the normal reaction which creates more of the friction right so friction is for sure mu into normal reaction and normal reaction is not mg cos theta it is only mg cos theta in very very few cases very simple cases okay okay understood so these three equations is going to solve it so you replace your f with uh, mu n then you replace your n from the second equation in the first equation and divide i hope you'll be able to do that i don't have to do it you'll be able to do that guys or shall i do it so we can do it. sure now like first equation very quickly first equation will become what n common mu 
cos theta okay mu n right so n common mu cos theta plus sin theta is equal to m v square by r right is your first equation right what will be the second equation n common so i'll write in green n common cos theta minus f sin theta so minus mu sin theta right right Yes. One sine theta is equal to again mg. Divide one and two, n is gone. If you divide one and two equation, n is gone, right? You are left only with the v, and you get the value. That is the value. That is the final answer. Is that clear? So do it with the very sleekness and okay, in a crafty way you do it, and that's easy for you. Is that clear, guys? Is that clear? Is that clear? Is that clear? So you get yes. something like v square by r g is equal to mu cos theta plus sin theta divided by cos theta minus mu sin theta. Okay, hmm? okay. Hmm? So nobody can remember that. You, what you can do is write the equations properly. Okay. So what about if somebody wanted to do it in these two? Then what is it? Like this and this, then what is it? Then you don't have to break n and f, you have to break. You have to break mg and centrifugal. And centrifugal. So, what do you get? Somebody else sell the equation now. What's the equation number one? Say along the incline, what's the equation? Somebody? This angle will be theta, this angle will be theta. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fast, fast, fast. Then mg cos theta plus mv square by r sin theta. Somebody say, man, apart from this guy, f plus mg sin theta. Right? mg sin theta will be that way, right? Yes. Yeah. So f plus mg sin theta is equal to mv square by r cos theta. Is it right or wrong? Vertical, you tell me. Vertical, that lady who was saying between, yes, vertical. Bolo, bolo, bolo. So, could you repeat again? What is the vertical equation? Vertical in this line, vertical line, what is the equation? Mm -hmm. What is the force this way? Yes, fast, fast, fast. Mg cos theta. Anything else? Supporting mv square theta. sin theta. Mv square by r sin theta, sin theta is equal to n. Hello, sir. Yeah. Sir, I'm sorry, I got disconnected. Ayo, I'll kill you, man. Sir, my network is very bad today. I'm so sorry for this. That's okay. No, you don't have to repeat. You don't have to repeat. I'll go check the recording. Join with mobile phone. Okay, you'll get yes, that sir. And obviously, f is equal to mu n. So again, you can see that from the first equation, I'll just leave f on one side and put the other things on the other side. Okay. And from the second equation, and you divide the two equations, you'll get your n away, or you equate the, uh, you put the n from this over here into this as f is equal to mu n, and you'll get the same answer. Is that clear, guys? You can check it out yourself. Is that clear? Is that clear, people? Yes. Or shall I do it? You can do it, right? Hmm? Yes. Yes. Now, this is the you put f is equal to mu n only when they say what the maximum speed you can go to okay if you go beyond that speed obviously friction will not be able to help and you will skid up okay you will slide up the incline okay now if you go too slow slower than the optimal thing like you have just stopped your car like this 
okay that is way slow right then if there is no friction you will slide down right guys if you are too slow then there is a chance that you are sliding down that means the friction will be upwards right normal reaction is still that way your mv square by r is still that way and your mg is still that way and i hope you will be able to make the equations either vertical horizontal your wish i think ncrt does vertical horizontal or along the incline and 90 degree incline you make any which equation and you'll still get the answer is that clear so that is your banking of roads if you have any doubt ask me any doubt no sir sure Sure. No doubt, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. No doubt, sir. Okay. So I'll stop the recording and call it as banking of roads.